Right. Oh, hello. Okay, it's on. Hi, F1 Paddock.biz. Thanks for uh, clicking play. Right, so I am sat in the car, my car, um, at the uh, beautiful Silverstone Wing at Silverstone. And, uh, well, I am one of the lucky ones. I have just seen the first Formula One car of 2013 take to the track at the home of British Motorsport, Paul de Resta, the only confirmed driver in the team so far. But between you and me, uh, David Croft believes that uh, Jules Bianchi will, uh, will be his teammate for this season. Um, because he is connected with Ferrari and the team might just switch to Ferrari uh, engines for 2014. So that will be uh, kind of interesting to see how that plans out. Uh, the team said that they're going to make an announcement on the second driver around the uh, start of the tests. They say they're in uh, no rush, no pressure, and uh, they'll do things their way, and they're quietly confident that they're going to uh, take off from where they left off in Brazil, leading the race. I've got loads of interviews for you coming up. Um, probably do a big special podcast. It probably lasts best part of an hour. Um, I was able to talk to... The reason I didn't do a live podcast earlier as it was happening, it's just really awkward, um, that kind of atmosphere. Um, Sky Sports News were live um, as they're sort of just about pulling the covers off. Um, people didn't want me um, bursting in there going, and well, here we are! No, I was getting kind of dirty looks as it was when I pulled my microphone out and started talking into it. <laughs> But there was um, a lot of uh, international press, as you can imagine, a lot of British press. And, uh, yeah, it was brilliant. Um, I got to have a chat with Johnny Herbert. You'll hear him uh, later tonight. I'm just in the car on my way home at the moment. Don't worry, I've been to the toilet. And uh, as soon as I get home, I'll uh, mix and mash all the interviews from Johnny Herbert, David Croft, Jonathan Ledyard, uh, Bob Fernley, uh, Otmar... Shafanaka from the Force India. I can't do his name. That was kind of embarrassing. I couldn't say his name. Um, but yeah, that was kind of interesting um, as well. Who else did I speak to? Oh yeah, Paul de Resta. <laughs> um, he's coming up later for you. Asked him a couple of interesting questions. And uh, yeah, it was... Uh, oh, and uh, Tony Jardine as well. Remember from ITV F1 and uh, current Sky Sports F1 um, F1 analyst. All these interviews coming up for you in a big special podcast, probably tonight, if I'm not too tired and there's no big delays on the motorway. And uh, yeah, it was kind of interesting. Um, again, apologies, I didn't do a live thing as it was happening, but it's over now. And it's uh, what I'm talking to you is it's about 20 past one in the afternoon. But uh, yeah, it was bloody brilliant. And um, I'll obviously tweet everything, um, retweet everything. I've got a couple of videos that I've posted already. I think there might have been some sort of technical area with that. Right, best be off then, because uh, I want to get on before it gets dark. Right, thanks for clicking. f one paddockbiz Retweet this immediately. Bye. Bye.